Well, for decades, Penn State students have been raising money to help fight childhood cancer. On Friday, students will celebrate the 50th anniversary of THON, which started back in 1973. Allison Gettler is incredibly thankful for THON. I really appreciate everything that they continuously do year after year. Her son, Carter, has a rare type of pediatric cancer. Their family receives emotional and financial support through Four Diamonds, funded by student volunteers at Penn State. Besides for us, the financial assistance, but for Carter personally, the child life specialist that he still has to use every time he goes in for an MRI, those who truly got him through that entire time. Anytime Carter had an infection and had to stay in the hospital for a week, they would hand us Panera gift cards so Carter and I could take a little bit of a break from eating in the hospital. They had a book cart that would come around and they would let Carter choose a book. It's the little things, she says, that have made a huge difference for their family and thousands of others. We have over 16,500 student volunteers now. It is the largest student run philanthropy in the world. So we're still going and, you know, it's one of our power phrases, but like we always say, we will not stop until we're dancing in celebration of a cure. Nolan Merritt is the PR director of THON 2022. THON is a year-long fundraising effort that ends with a 46-hour dance marathon at the Bryce Jordan Center at Penn State. I remember when I was at Penn State, THON was at Rec Hall. Now it's at the BJC because it's gotten so big. 50 years in, we are still fighting $190 million later. Countless um, emotional support that we have provided to our families. We have helped over 4,800 families battling childhood cancer at um, Penn State Health Children's Hospital. The pandemic meant a shift to a virtual THON last year, but students still raised more than $10.6 million for Four Diamonds. Over the last 50 years, how far has THON come from a fundraising standpoint? We have now raised over $190 million for our sole beneficiary, Four Diamonds, and all of that money goes directly towards funding critical research in pursuit of a cure for ensuring that none of our families have to see a single medical bill when they're going through cancer treatment. Mm, and stay with Eyewitness News and CBS3 as we celebrate 50 years of THON. Tomorrow I sit down with Sue Paterno and then on Friday I'll be live from Penn State starting at 4 p.m. just as THON kicks off. We'd love to see your Penn State THON memories. Share them with us please. CBSPhilly.com.